Hello and welcome to this short introduction to the new CC2650 Mod A Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Module. We will go through the highlights of the RF module, the most relevant development kits, and the getting started content available for this product. The CC2650 Mod A is an RF module which includes the CC2650 in 5x5 QFN package, antenna, crystals, and all necessary passive components. It is small compared to a coin cell battery with its 11 times 16.9 mm size and has RF certifications for worldwide operation. Low power features include 6 mAh RXTX current, 1 microamp sleep current with RC running and full RAM retention, and a novel sensor controller which allows parallel processing of low power sensors. In addition to full Bluetooth 4.2 compliance, the CC2650 Mod A also supports IEEE 802.15.4 RF transmission. For optimal RF performance in your design, remember to look at section 7 in the datasheet which contain layout guidelines. Specifically, there is a consideration on how the ground plane of your PCB should align with the module. CC2650 Mod A offers two ways of operation. First, as a single chip wireless MCU with both BLE stack code and customer application running on the 2650 Mod A. The best development platform for this purpose is the 2650 Launchpad, which is a full MCU development kit. The 2650 Mod A can then just be seen as another package option in addition to the QFN packages that are already available. The module contains a 5x5 QFN package and is software compatible with this specific package option. The second use model is as a Bluetooth 4.2 network processor. Here the development platform is a stacked development kit setup with user application running on the MSP432 launchpad and simple BLE network processor running on the CC2650 Mod A. The two are connected by SPI or UART. The advantage of this approach is that the pre-compiled hex image of TI's simple BLE network processor can be used and all development efforts can be spent on writing code for the host MCU and only learning a simplified BLE API. The Project Zero or Hello World example, if you will, of the network processor usage model includes the following elements. First, on the MSP432 MCU, uh, the MS MCU that runs the main application, it blinks LED, the text button presses and supports over the air update of firmware. It interfaces to the 2650 Modi module with a simple BLE API and source code is obviously available for the, the host code here. Uh, the module itself is pre-certified with integrated antenna. Uh, it's running an upgradable BLE network processor software, which supports the latest Bluetooth 4.2 feature set. On the smartphone side, we have an Android tablet running the Project Zero app and it supports blinking LEDs and showing button status. To get started with the Project Zero example, get an MSP432 launchpad and the 2650 Mod A booster pack and go to the TI Resource Explorer at dev.ti.com slash boostxl cc2650ma. With the boards assembled and connected to your PC or Mac via USB, you can quickly program your setup with the Project Zero example code directly from the browser. Next step is to use one of the suggested smartphone apps available for both iOS and Android, including source code examples. The Project Zero code example implements three custom services. First, the LED blink service that lets you blink the two LEDs on the MSP432 launchpad. Then the button server service, which lets you detect button presses and get button press notifications. And last, the data service that lets you send a text string back and forth. The Project Zero example is the ideal small software example which can serve as a basis to build your own application. If you are new to Bluetooth and this all sounds too complicated, take a look at the basic Bluetooth trainings available in SimpleLink Academy. They will get you up to speed. SimpleLink Academy is a set of labs that introduce various topics related to BLE, RTOS and other aspects of the TI SimpleLink devices. The labs provide tasks for the user to accomplish with interactive feedback, quizzes and suggestions for solutions to the tasks. 
There is one specific lab presented on the network, the simple network processor, and this lab uses the CC2650 CC2650 Multi Booster Pack and the MSP432 Launchpad as the training hardware. Check it out today and learn all about how to use the CC2650 Mode as a network processor in your application. So here are the two developing kits that you need. First, the uh, MSP432 Launchpad, which is here basically with a uh, USB cable. And then you have the C7650 module booster pack here. And in this kit, you will also find a uh, module sample and a small uh, debug cable. This cable can be used to debug on the module directly. There's a connector here and here, and you can use the debugger on, on the MSP432 uh, launchpad for this. So here I have uh, programmed, uh, I have assembled my uh, module booster pack with the MSP432 launchpad, and I, I have an iPad here with the Simple Link starter app. So I'll start that app, and I see my uh, simple network processor here, and I will do a uh, service explorer, where I can explore the services. So we have three custom services here that are the LEDs, the buttons, and the data service. So let's look at the uh, LED service first. And um, I'll go here and I will see that it's it's zero basically and I'll change the value to, um, to one. And the LED is on. Uh, in the same manner, I can go into the second, the second um, service here, and um, I'll uh, set the not notification to to on, and I'll see if I can detect. So now I can actually detect my button here. I have notifications on for this service, and I'm detecting the button press from the launchpad through the network processor and to my smartphone app. And obviously, there are several apps you can use for this, uh, Android versions as well, and it serves as a great basis for your own development. Thank you for watching. Make sure to take a look at the CC2650 Mode module, the Simplink Academy training modules, and get your development kit today.